So, the messages that I get are always about bad situations. They're never anything good, anytime, anytime. And then I'm, I'm always puzzled because I'm just like, I always think from like a perspective of trying to better someone and trying to make you feel comfortable that I just never, ever, I'm never really honest, to be frankly honest. Um, and the truth is, you have to just suck it up and do it. If, listen, when people get into situations, when we all, when we're in love and we like somebody and our friends, if we, if you're introducing people to your friends, your friends are not taken to them. You introduce them to your family, your family's not taken to them. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's something that's a bit odd about that. I feel like you're seeing too much of my upper body and you're not seeing, yeah. It's, it's an odd thing. So, I feel like sometimes you need to take the people that matter to you most. Their opinions should really count. And you shouldn't dismiss those opinions. But a lot of the time, we just want to be hard-headed and be like, you know, people don't know. They don't know them like I do. I like this person. I don't really care what you think. I don't care. So you continue. You continue to be with them. Continue to be with them. And then later on, cracks start to show. And then when shit goes down the drain, then you're then complaining about that person not doing this, doing that, doing that. Why did they do this? Why did they do that? And then, and then you're tired of this. You're tired of this. And you get tired. And then you get in this circle you get to this place where you're just fed up and you're like you know i don't i don't want to be with you anymore maybe you might split up with them you might take them back and it's an ongoing circle it's like you keep going round and round and ring around a rosy and then now you're asking me what why you can't leave that person alone why why can't you get over this person why do you keep taking them back and all this stuff i don't know what you expect me to do i don't know I don't know what you expect. You know the thing about us, right? We're very stupid. We we all we all have an element of being idiotic. Because when it gets to another person, it's like, you know, when people are bad, you do see it. You see elements from the start, from the first conversation. It's just how focused are you and how how in tune are you with yourself to know that. If you you need to be so stern within yourself when you're dating people. You need to have your identity on point. You need to know who you are, your purpose on this earth, and what you want, and how someone can contribute to you being a better you, right? All those things play a fundamental part in your growth and you being in a successful relationship and you guys prospering into to all the blessings that could possibly be uh, dispersed to you. Right? Never, never compromise with anything when you're so adamant about certain qualities and characteristics that you want in a person that is coming into your life. Because someone coming into your life is one of the most important decisions that you can make, to be honest. Because hmm, if your time, time that you can't take back, your body, your mind, your soul, we get things misconstrued and we get things confused because when it comes to people, you can't think of somebody coming into your life in the short term of things. This is why it agitates me so much when people are always like, go over the flow, go over the flow, go over the flow. Because when I'm dating you, I'm giving you time that I can't get back. That time that I could be developing those experiences for myself that could be lasting me a lifetime, that could be contributing to myself, contrib sorry, contributing to my happiness and fulfilling me as a human being, impacting my growth. This time is precious. I've not got time to be seeing how something goes with somebody that has no intentions for me. When you date, you have to date with a purpose. If you want something longevity, date with purpose and make sure you vet that person that is going to be into your life. Date them. Pay attention, stay focused, especially on the things that you want, especially the goals that you have. Because when this person's coming into your life, it is, it's going to make an impact. Because the time that you're giving to this person, you, you're not allowed to be selfish anymore. Selfless. And now you used to have to be gravitating to be, to, to be heading somewhere, to, to be a unit. You know? So, 
So it's very important that someone has focus, someone has ambition, someone has goals. Because if you don't have any of that, then you're not worthy of being here. Because how can you encourage me to be better? And as I look at people and they're like, all the time, like sex, 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 sex. This is why a lot of people get into situations and they become dissatisfied and they start becoming promiscuous and they start getting tired of the relationship and you look at these people that are in these beautiful relationships you see these really hot couples you're like oh my god and you hear they're broken up <gasps> how can they break up oh my god i thought they were amazing a lot of the times these things are not built on substance a lot of times people go allow their mind to drift and forget everything they said they want in somebody else and make room for something that just becomes shallow because the person happens to say a nice few words because they happen to be hot as fuck. You happen to have sex, the sex is amazing and you keep doing it, you keep doing it, you keep doing it and then you become complacent. You get together, sex, 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 sex. A few conversations, this is my man, this is my girl, boom, 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 boom. Where's the foundation? What's the sub, where are you heading? What's the person's ambition? What's the goals? How do they contribute to your happiness? Besides sex. Take sex out of the equation. Besides sex, how do they contribute to you being a better you? How have you grown in that relationship? How? You get so triggered by the way someone looks, by a few good words, a few nice little gestures. The things that you do for me, you are meant to be doing in a relationship. You're meant to be doing to impress me. When you meet me, yes, I do. I will. There's certain things that I expect. There's certain things I expect. And I'm allowed to expect that because that's the standard I set for myself. I want to expect nothing from you that I am not able to do my own self. Right? I don't want anything more from you but for you to be you and to know that you have ambition and you have goals. Because if you have ambition and you have goals and you're at least working towards something, I know that you can be a benefactor in my life because I don't need to, I need to be able to stay on vision. I need you to be able to stay on vision. I need to be able to encourage you as much as you're encouraging me. And then we can gravitate as a unit. But there's not a lot of people that think like that. You know, it's, I used to be so taken aback by someone being good looking in my book. And because they had, they, they said something better than the last person. It was easy for me to just be like, <gasps> yeah, but nothing ever worked because there was no substance. There was no depth. What's the conversation about? Okay, you're messaging me every day. There's consistency, but what? There's no point. I'm bored. I'm bored. Educate me. Thrill me. You know? And... Um, Always stick to your standards and what you need for yourself in the long term when it comes to a human being. Because that person, <laughs> they can be in your life for a short period of your time of your life and take up so much of your future. Because you can be reeling from the hurt, you can be reeling from betrayal, you can be reeling from heartbreak, you can be reeling from soul ties. There's so much, don't ever allow someone to come into your life temporarily without a vision and without an ending goal for you to be whole. And then that's why I just, I, I can't lie, like what people choose in their bedroom is their own business. But for me, I cannot be one of those people that just allow people, that just can be just having sex with just anybody like that. I can't. And it's so funny because the longer, the, the longer that I keep not having sex and I keep not associating with somebody, it makes me even more conscious of myself. And then I think to myself, oh, do you know the bad thing about being single sometimes is because sometimes your expectations can become really unrealistic and you can just want, want, want too much. But... I ground myself and I bring myself back to earth sometimes. And I just know that I, I always bring myself and real to the basic fundamentals of what I need in someone. It's, that's what I need. I, I know what I need and I don't need it. I don't need to, I don't need you. It, what I need in someone is not something that they can just shut me up by saying, let's go to flow type nonsense. I'll be able to see in the first conversation. There's certain things that I will never tolerate, ever. 
ever, ever again. Because I know who I am. I know what I deserve. I know my purpose on this earth. And I know what I need to do and who I need to be. Right? And I know for me to be a better me, I know just how much I need. Right? So, you don't just get to come here. Not anyone just gets to come here. I don't care if I'm not your... It's not about me being your type or whatever. Because people always think about now. This look... This... I will not look like this forever. My body will not be like this forever. The simple fact. How people look now, they're not going to... You're not going to look forever. What keeps a relationship is substance. Death. Like, people don't really look to... People don't look at people for the future. People don't look at pe people just keep, like this stupid mentality of oh for now for now go with the flow see how it goes. I don't need you to be a permanent fixture of a human being to come into my life and see how anything goes. Because if I'm dating you for a certain amount of time and I start to develop feelings and you don't feel the same way, that is going to take me double the time I dated you, maybe even triple, and trickle into how I feel about the next person. And then while you're there living your life and it's all done and dusted. You know how much times that is taking me to reel from heartbreak? Hmm. It's horrible. It's not nice. Just from something. Like, it, could, it doesn't even have to be heartbreak. It could just be betrayal. You could just feel used, taken advantage of. All these things, as a human, it takes longer to process when someone does wrong. All the little things that we just allow and we suppress are always going to be big contribu contributing factors into why something ends up as a failure. You know, a lot of times, I'll tell you this, and I've just ignored so much stuff, inconsistency, all of these stuff that turn me off. And it's like, I think because I've just always had this heart to think that either someone could change or I could help fix them or I could help. That's not my, my job. My job is not here on earth to help fix you. No, my, that is not my job. You should already knew who the fuck you was before you come here. So now me allowing that is ultimately allowing disrespect. I'm ultimately disrespecting myself <laughs> at that point in the high before you could even disrespect me. I've disrespected myself by lowering my standards and allowing what I don't want to then become my normal. And for me now having to deal with it and suppress it and be quiet and forget about it, allow you to say sorry, but the, I'm, I'm, I'm. someone that wants you, someone that wants you, there will be no excuses of in, until why or no if buts or maybes about giving you what you need. You know? From the time that I'm already questioning my position in my relationship, that's for me, that's time to go. I don't need to be asking my friends, yeah, yeah, so this person, he's done this and mm, he's done this and then again, oh, it's fine, everything's fine and then again, mm, I don't know, and back and forth, mm, then, oh yeah, everything's fine, yeah, I'm in love, and posty, posty, and then again, mm, always needing just a, a clarification and justification, always going on and on and on and on about your shit. If it's a bad relationship and you're questioning it, then you shouldn't be in it then. You don't need to be DMing me what to do because from the time that you're asking, you you made up your mind that this is something that is not for you. So what else do you need someone to tell you? If it's not for you, it's not for you. Jesus, if you need a refund or something, do you ask the whole world if you should get a refund on it before you go to the shop? If something's not your size, not everything's for everyone, you know. So as, as you went in it with not caring about the whole world's opinion, then you can come out of it with not bothering about anyone's opinion. Nah. Yeah. Huh. My gosh. Needs to ask this. Needs to ask this. Needs to ask this. Advice for what? What advice do you want from me? Please don't tell me. I don't know what you want from me. I don't know what you want from me. You, you, I wasn't the deciding factor when you got into your bad situation. <laughs> You're going to have to figure it out, aren't you? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I understand. It's, it's common sense. Like, if something is not for you, then you wouldn't be questioning it. Then leave it. Leave. Why do people make it seem like it's a chore to leave a relationship? The fact that I can see my phone on my chest is annoying me. Oh, it's very annoying, to be honest. Leave. I'm not going to say anything more about that. But forward, going forward, 
You would be able to prevent problems like this when you maintain your focus on how someone could contribute to your future. Stop looking at people and giving people chances for now. Never do that with people. Not everyone here is going to have your best interest on this earth. So when people are coming into your life, make sure that they are right. And when you start to see things go, mm, 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 bye. Bye and keep it moving. Keep it moving. And stop asking for advice about situations that you put yourself in and that you can easily get out of. Don't know what you want. Of course, I'm such a drama queen. Oh, gosh.